What's up guys, your favorite mystic, the Siren Sims, and welcome back to my Chanel. So I know what you're thinking. Yo, like, it's fall, where is the spooky content? Look, I'm working on it. I am right now actually fixing up my CC folder, only putting in what I know I'm gonna use and deleting all the rest. And I had a lot of content that I was not using. So I'm, you know, everything will be here in time, but until then, you're gonna get some creative sims and you're gonna get some CC hauls, like today. So today I will be showcasing someone I know on Tumblr. Their name is Elite Sims, all right? Elite Sims. They make a lot of content, but they kind of just come drop content and then dip out. So, right now i decided to wait and give them some time and i'm glad i did because now they have a wealth of incredible stuff so right now i'm just kind of showing you what the hairs look like in game and um while i do that i will be telling you what i normally tell you for all these which is a word from the creator if i'm able to get one so elite sims wanted you guys to know that they were inspired by playing NBA 2K. Um, they were able to see all of the hair options that was on a basketball game and they thought, why the Sims got this many options for people of the Noir complexion, you know, black people, right? So they decided to, you know, start converting for that. You know what I mean? So I think that's, that's a great motivation. You see a lot of random games, you know, random console games, and they're able to give you like some things that you're not seeing uh, within the game sphere of The Sims. So they also want to let you know that when it comes to their content, they post a lot of things that they feel like personally they don't see enough of in The Sims community. So black hairs, recolorable patterns, clothes for males, etc. They also really pride themselves on trying to make content, especially the hairs, as accessible to as many people as possible. So for example, for every 30k poly hair they make, they try to have at least two hairs under 20k. And I really like that because that was that's them saying, look, not everybody's computers can take high poly, not everybody got a gaming laptop or a, a desktop, like you're using a little laptop that you are using for your university it's not the best for sims but you're using it but you still want to have some cute um afro hairs they're giving you that you know so it's great um i, I do want to have a competition later on in this video about how i think it's crazy that clay hairs which is the texture of most afro hairs in the sims for that clay hairs are so high poly now it's like why but anyways um just to continue on right I have been speaking with them for a little while on and off when they're here. So one of the hairs there was actually a request that I made. Um, it's actually the hair that you see me use in The Sims 2. And I am very excited about it. Ooh. So I don't know when you're going to see this, Elite Sims, but I love you. I love your creations. And I hope this video pushes hundreds of people to come see you. And come see about you because we need to support you you are giving me what i want because you guys know i'll be complaining all the time that's a lot all the time but i'll be saying here and there when i play the sims 2 that it's kind of annoying that like in the sims 2 like they be converting a lot of afro hairs and so you have a lot of options in the sims 2 and we don't even have a half as many of those options in the sims 3 so i'm glad that now it's kind of unequal equal i feel like without anybody dropping anything else I'm good. Like, I could, like, not CC shop anymore and be fine. Now, there are lots of different styles for people of, of Afro heritage. So, we'll never really be done. But in terms of, like, you don't want to have a game that's too packed with CC, but you want a little bit of hair for each culture, I feel like now we have a good enough set that for those who can't constantly CC shop, you can stop here and be good. All right. So... Um, after this clip is done in the next clip, I'm going to show y'all the creator's page, okay? I'm going to show you her page, and we're going to see what she has to offer. And I'm so excited! And um, just so you know, a little thing before it's over, they are planning to do a jewelry set as well. They are planning to do a jewelry set. So, 
they're planning to do a lot but for right now they're trying to like give us all the hairs we can handle and then move on to other stuff like um build buy furniture more clothes because they ordered a little bit of clothes more clothes and um jewelry and accessories they, they're trying to they're trying to you know get us right get us collect get us together and i'm very happy about it once again thank you so much Alini, I am so glad that you spoke with me, gave me some information, and also gave me that gorgeous hair. The picture of that hair will be on the screen right now. But this beautiful hair that, you know, I used on uh, my Dior sisters, which I'm so sad we might never see them again, but it is what it is, okay? So on to the next. See y'all in a sec.
Hi guys, we're back at it again. So, this is Alita Sims Tumblr page. Um, this is how their page looks when you go on Tumblr. I kind of prefer this style, so I might even just use this. It is what it is. So, this is their page. This is something that they were doing, like kind of like a mystery box. Them saying, welcome to spooky season. What's in the box? Um, so I already know what's in here, but I'm going to play Alita Sims game. But I'll let you know there are some hairs and some furniture and some clothes. And the hairs are gorgeous. And so if you just want to know what's in there, click on it and look. But they have so much good things that I'll need to stick with that. Okay, I really don't need to stick with that. So just to continue, look at this, bro. All right. Look at these hairs. Uh, you already know how they look in game you already know um i had my sim from my unfinished business harper i had her modeling but she's so much prettier than harper <laughs> oh she's so cute harper's cute too they're both cute but look how many options we got for the girls look at the as somebody who has locks right and i have sister locks so i'm still not fully represented these locks are bigger than my locks way bigger but it's still locked so i still got something you know so these are really cute obviously you can see like a bunch of these hairs are actually in the sims 2 already and you see me use them so i'm very happy about that because i've been wanting to use hairs like these in the sims 3 forever so let's just look at them individually a little bit here and as I've told you guys before, when they do this, they're just showing you how they can be recolored. You can recolor the roots, the middle, the tips. Very, very cute. Look at this. Very, very cute. This is the hair that I asked for because um, she made this hair available for the menses. And I was like, make it for the girlies too. This is a hair of the Sims 2. Sestella Dior was wearing this hair. Very cute. This is how it can be colored. Very cute. I love this hair. I don't I don't know why. It's getting very boho. And I'm kind of in a boho, maybe slightly gothic type era with my style, my clothing style. This is really cute. This is how it can be colored. So yes, the one good thing about this, sometimes I'm with the older black hairs that we've had in game. And I love those hairs. Um, they're not as recolorable. Like maybe you'll get them to be one block color, but there's not really much like um customizability because it's it was a long time ago those hairs are still gorgeous but it was a long time ago these you have a lot more customizability it's the same hair but this one has lock accessories on it so it's really cute really really cute this one is one of my favorites as well i love all of these but you know some of them i, I just gravitate towards them but i end up stopping myself all oh, right stop girl stop this is really cute. I think it comes in two settings, braids and locks. So this is like a braid. This is like the lock one, I think. Yeah. This one, this one has more of a one color type vibe, but it's fine because it's already really in a cute style. I think you can also recolor the beads, but I'm not completely sure. Yeah. Yeah. So they have one with the two strands and one with the, oh, it's not. I was wrong, guys. Yes, this is the Monet bead set. They don't have... Okay, so in The Sims 2, they have uh, versions with locks and versions with braids. We don't have that here, but it doesn't matter. So all you have is like, okay, you have the full face. You can see the full face. The other one where there um, is two strands in front, which is really cute. I love a two strand look. This one, Honey Sun Alfalfa braids. Gorgeous. They have a little clip right here just just the cute details i love it so much i love this it's like hey uh -huh. if rogue was black from x-men you know very very cute this is how it's recolorable um i will say elite if you see this this hair i think it has a little bit of a glitch i've tried re-downloading it and i'll check back later but um it was working fine and then now it just kind of turns out orange i don't know if it's orange in game i'm just telling you what looks like it casts all right this london bridge is falling down very cute very recolorable very cute deja dreads the razor dreads version two and 
you guys know how I feel about continuity when I make a sim. If the sim got short hair, they gonna stay with short hair unless it is a storyline for them to wear a wig for like formal or something. So now when I put on the locks on, on girls, I feel okay, she, she curled her locks today. She decided to go out with the girls, so she put her hair up in a half up, half down, cute little look. So yeah, these are really good in terms of like giving us um, continuity with the hairstyles. And I'm talking about continuity, look at this, all right? These are the Paloma Passion Twists. They have different versions of these. So you see the hair goes to the front, it's down on this side, goes to the front. Here's how it's recolorable. Then it goes to the front on the other side. Very, very cute. This sim is gorgeous though, by the way, as well. Then you have it again, but this time it goes straight to the front on both sides. Very, very cute. So there's a lot of continuity. Straight to the back. Here's how it's recolorable. Yeah, put it up in a ponytail. So see, you could be like, okay, this is how she wears her hair when she's going out with the girl. So she put her hair up in a ponytail, going on a date. She put her hair up and then put one strand down. Like there's, you can like literally have this as someone's main hairstyle and just use the different versions with different outfits. I love this. I love this because the, the Euro hairs, right? The wider hairs, they have like, oh, we have a bob, curly bob, short bob, long bob, long hair, long hair and a ponytail. Like they have different styles that you can do continuity with those sims or even with black sims with that hairstyle. But now we have Afro hairs that we can do continuity with. It's not just like, okay, there's this one locked hairstyle and then there's a, there's a bun, but it's an Afro. So there's like less continuity, but then it, we make it work because you know, or black simmers saying, okay, I was wearing braids one day and I took out the braids to go to sleep. But how realistic is it that you take out your braids the same day? You know, so it would kind of be nice to have the continuity. And then when you use like the hairstyler mod, I'll link that video down below because there is a hairstylist mod. You can like, our black sims can be like, okay, I want to get passion twist for my birthday. And she goes to the hairstylist mod and get passion twist. Look, this game about to be lit. All right, this hairstyle once again with the hair strand on the other side, beautiful. Two strand, look, it's, it's, it's so cute. It's perfection, it's perfection, okay? So let's just go back and look at some others. This is some for the menses. In Bonics, it's called Zaddy. This is how it's recolorable right here. So you can color the roots, the middle, and the ends for these. Um, this one has scrunchies on it really cute for the menzies all right this one is a similar hairstyle but it gives you continuity even for the men claps up for elite for that claps up okay so now you have strands here right like oh when he work out strands getting his hair like storytelling unbelievable all right these i have this it's a lot of patterns so if you don't want to have like a thousand different patterns from different people in your game you can just download this one it has a lot of different stuff. It has patterns you can put on clothes, patterns you can put on walls, patterns you can put anywhere you feel like. Really, really cute. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because it's just patterns, but they're really, really cute and I love them. And I have been using them. This was one of the first things I saw from them, Foxy Pros. We have this, I think we have this one in particular and maybe this one in The Sims 2, but now I have it in The Sims 3. Um, I did actually want to use this on one of my sims, but now that I have so many other hair options, I might just change how she looks. Ah, very beautiful, very cute, very cutesy, very demure. Let's see what they're called a little bit. Yeah, so you see, you're going to see here how they are recolored, right? Elena Afro, Afri Afridi Afro, Polefro, very cute, kind of like a slight mohawk on the side and the fluorescent fro first pros are my favorites um, i will say this hair is a little difficult to put um hairlines on so you just gotta know what skin you're picking and just be very mindful of it okay all right here we go the fades for the menses the fades for the menses look if you want your boy to get a clean lineup here it is here it look at all that look at all that bro gorgeous look at that look at that like i've been thinking about making miles morales in the sims 3 now i can <laughs> look at 
look at that look at that right so you got taper fade curve short afro waves sharp waves flaves fade taper fade look at that look at that i have found members who have had these exact same hairstyles pg15 waves <laughs> the wolverine hilarious you got the lance Boy, the Vindicator, waves on swim, non-stop buzz. Very cute, very cute. This one, very nice. The Lonray locks. So these are locks, but they're braided. So they're braided or twisted together. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that. This is how they're recolorable. Cute, cutesy. Damien locks. These are my favorite. For the men's is look really nice it's cute i can make static shock now okay you guys can't stop me um here are the clothes gorilla belted lv jeans adorable i love the way that she puts out the graphics and her thumbnails look how cute everything is the dots and she's an aesthetic queen aesthetic queen deji lock see so you see the twist look at the detail oh so cute this is how this it's recolorable. All right, let's go to the next page. I think she only has two pages, so we're just gonna look at everything that she has today. See the same London locks that I was just raving about. Um, she has for the male. Here's how they're recolorable. Very cute, very cute. See, Horus dreads. Very nice. Um, I've used these without the hairline. Um. Uh, but I, I added in a hair later on. But there's a single I'm going to drop soon that has this hairstyle. Very cute. Very cute. See? Greasy dreads. All right. So if you got any ball players, you got a hairstyle for the ball players or just for anybody an artist, an architect, anybody. These pants are so cute. Once again, the styling, the coloring, the lettering, just perfectional. Lamerte. Yeah, these are big locks put into a style. You have the fade on the side. Kind of like Afro locks. I know somebody in real life who has hair like this. Ah, oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> You're never gonna watch this video, but what's up? Um Lamerte version two, so no hair in the front. See, we got continuity with the hairstyle for the bros. Still. Okay, this is some clothes for the men's tie, the flannel around very cutesy hey oversized puffer something cute for the cool boy in winter love i love the jacket hoodie combo bro so jacket hoodie denim jacket with a hoodie oh my god adorable oh they also had more here these are like over a these are a bunch of recolorable patterns as well. Just take a look at them. Yeah, I don't think that anything that this creator drops, I would put in my game. You know, like how some things you don't put them in your game really, like you don't. Like, okay, I'll get some stuff, but not everything. Elite is one of those creators that at this point, anything they drop, I'm going to put in my game. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have these in my game as well. Because I've actually, I'm, as I'm looking at it now, yeah, I can remember using some of these. So I have all, I have everything that they drop in my game. So yeah, um, very, very, very adorable. Very, very, very cute. Um, I think that this creator is going places. If they ever drop a Patreon, I might just sign up for it because it would be worth it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, like, usually I say just pick and choose, but honestly, I feel like you should download everything here. Maybe pick and choose if you want patterns or not, because I heard that patterns can slow down the game if they're not done correctly. But apart from that, please just download all these hairs. You guys need more um, diversity in your game. And these are cute. Like, back in the day, some of the black hairs that we got weren't cute. But we downloaded them because, you know, it's better than what EA was doing. So we just got them. No, these are here under Q. 
and on, obviously these are also um, Lady Sims converting from Sims 4 so we're gonna give Sims 4 some credit here good job to the CC creators of the Sims 4 like Ebonic Sims a lot of the hairs for the men and women are from Ebonic Sims so we gonna shout her out because she's been doing it for black Simmers for dang near centuries at this point anyways thank you guys so much um, please do enjoy the fall you know, put your afros out for the fall um, um, in terms of what I'm going to be doing next on the channel, um, I'm working on getting my game up and running for y'all. If anything, if I'm not able to put out a video that is not pre-recorded by the end of October, you guys will be getting the spooky content in November. Just saying, okay? We go, we gonna do the spooky content in fall. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, my sires. Susu! -soo!